you think about animal crossbreeds or hybrids, what's the first thing that comes to mind? And what would happen if you are walking down the street and encounter what seems to be a dog, but it's not? How safe would you feel? And how about the creature that resembles a horse that could swim? Ancient civilizations, fables, and myths have talked about bizarre hybrid animals, and many of them are based on truth. In modern times, artists have created realistic crossbreeds that are so incredibly lifelike. But far more complex than a labradoodle, hybrids do exist. They swim, fly, and walk among us, carrying genetic secrets that can only be deciphered by experts. Let's discover together and rethink what we know about hybrid crossbreed animals. Let's explore their mysteries, myths, and even their most realistic and believable fakes you will think are truly real. And for some extra fun, find our mascot net hiding throughout the video. The Killer Dolphin Whale Scientists have gone mad with this hybrid. They created the Psycho Dolphin. Stories of killer whales eating everything that crosses their path sounds terrifying, yet stories of people being saved by dolphins are very endearing and exciting to hear about. This hybrid is a blend of both. But which trait did it take? The good or the bad? Meet the wolfen an extremely rare mix of a female common bottlenose dolphin paired with a male false killer whale. It actually was not an orca, just a fake one. The first reported wolfin ever born in captivity was in Tokyo SeaWorld, but it only lived to be less than a year old. Yet, the first to survive and thrive was Kikai Malu. Her name means from the peaceful ocean. She was born in Hawaii in 1985 after her parents share a pool at the Sea Life Park. This rare hybrid still lives in the Marine Mammal Park where she was born. Kekai Mao was able to give birth to three calves. Only one, Kawili Kai, lived. Unlike her older two siblings, Kawili Kai is still alive and thriving with her mother, Kekai Malu. Few reports of wild wolfins have been reported, but it's truly a rare sight. Both hybrid females are very friendly and love the attention trainers and guests give them. No psycho dolphins here. Dog Wolf Coyote What if your dog is not who he says he is? Although dogs evolved from wolves only several thousand years ago and a million more years longer from coyotes, what would happen if the three were mixed together? What would it look like? As coyotes migrated from the Great Plains of the United States, they encountered wolves. Since they are still genetically related, the end result became the coyote wolf breed. Capable of easily adapting to their environment with the cunning cleverness of the coyote and the regal strength of the wolf. Needless to say, hunting deer and living near human settlements became easier for the new species to emerge and prosper. As this new adapted hybrid befriended dogs, the stars aligned to create the perfect top predator. This triple hybrid has the perfect balance of the three, the dog's friendliness to humans, the coyote's ability and speed, plus the wolf's ancestral knowledge of deer hunting in the woods. Today, this unbeatable Canis Latran Lupus Familiaris, a combination of the three scientific names, is becoming the best chance of the two of the three species to survive. Real or fake? Every day we're bombarded by the internet, news, events. It's hard to know what's real and what's fake. Every year, there are more and more sensationalist reports that just want to create curiosity and make us believe the impossible to be true. In 2009, there was a news report of the creation of the perfect hybrid. Israeli scientists successfully created the flawless creature from what's considered the most loyal and man's best friend with a human being. The result? The Homo canis erectus the perfect blend of Labrador Retriever and a woman. 
In the report, there was even a mention of her offsprings who look hairless with long dog ears. Dog paws but could walk in two feet. The news of the successful hybridization of two genetically extreme distant species became controversial, as this is genetic manipulation to the extreme. But what inspired this bizarre news report? In 2003, Patricia Piccini sculpted the dog human for her exhibition, We Are Family. She is best known for her flawless hybrids that she creates in her studio. They look so real, who could not believe they're truly alive? House Cat Puma Tigers are one of my favorite animals, and I am sure if I could have one with me at my house, believe me, I would. Can you imagine a large and friendly house tiger curling up with you to watch TV? For the majority, well, scary. For some of us, a dream come true. But what if it could actually be possible? In the past, house cats have produced hybrid offsprings with Asian leopard cats and Asian servals, but not with a tiger or a puma. Research using female house cat eggs was inconclusive when paired with larger cats, such tigers and bobcats. Finally, after many failures, the light bulb turned on when they tried the other way using eggs from a larger female, like pumas and leopards, paired with a house cat's sperm. The results were much more successful. The best hybrid was from the cat puma. The embryo developed about 16 cells after fertilization. Although that does not sound like much, research is moving forward, and hopefully it will create a hybrid that could help large cats in the brink of extinction, like the cheetahs. Heine and Mule What could possibly go wrong if you mix some species together? In some cases, a great deal lot of nothing. Hybridization is not as easy as it looks. Genes from both parents have to be familiar enough for the new species of animals to be born. Even after the miracle of birth, most of the offsprings are sterile. The amazing hybrid between a donkey and a horse it's almost impossible. Donkeys have 62 chromosomes, while horses have 64. In order to figure out the extra chromosomes from one side and the lack from the other, the hybrids end up with 63 chromosomes and the majority of the time, they're sterile. The interesting part is the gender of the parents and the end result of the offspring. The most desired offspring comes from a male donkey or jack and a female horse or mare. The result is called a mule, with the better attributes of the two. Mules are taller as their mother with the friendly disposition of a horse and the strong endurance of the donkey. As an added bonus, mules eat less and live longer than the regular horses. But what would happen if the parents are the other way? You get a hiney. A little donkey with shorter ears and more hair. This little hybrid is said to be like that due to its donkey mother being smaller. Therefore, smaller offsprings than the female horse. Could a hiney and a mule breed? Well, that's going too far, but not as far as pairing donkeys with zebras. The end result is a rare mix called Z-Donk. Hippocampus what imaginary creature would you create if you mixed intelligence, strength, and grace? As an added bonus, what if it could swim too? Meet the hippocampus. It's one of the most bizarre combinations of mythical creatures ever thought of. It's the head of a horse with the swimming agility and body of a dolphin. This mythical hybrid appeared in both Phoenician and Greek mythology. The god of the seas, Poseidon, was pictured as having such beasts galloping over the surface of the water. On the Trevi Fountain, a winged hippocampus is displayed in Rome. When you head out to Rome, remember to take a photo with the winged hippocampus. Of course, you can also find a replica in Las Vegas. Thank you for watching this video about hybrid animals. 
if you could create a hybrid from animals either real, mythical, or extinct, what would it be and why? Until next time. Remember to click the bell icon after you subscribe so you can get instant notifications of all of our new videos.